if this is your first time welcome to travel stacks and to the live stream um you might not be able to see me like the best but i think the view is the most important thing at this very moment and that's one of the reasons why i went live if you're new here travel snacks is all about traveling eating good food making connections being resourceful and maybe living an alternative lifestyle you might want to live in a van a truck a car a tiny home anything that's maybe different from the norm thank you for youtube for letting me know i'm live and we're all welcoming here and we just you know are kind to each other and my motto is goal get out and live and this is exactly what i'm doing and i wanted to go live today just to chop it up with you guys and I just wanted to share this gorgeous view with you and I gotta put my glasses on because I'm doing this on my phone today so first of all make sure you pop a like on this thing second of all if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the notification and uh, if you would like to donate to the snack fund feel free to do so uh, and usually when somebody donates to the snack fund I do a little sound but it's on my phone the app <laughs> I probably should have put it on my iPad so I could do that, but I didn't think about it because this was like a last minute thing. So if you make a donation, I'll have to like, I don't know what, make a sound with my mouth like I did before that one time. I don't know, but whatever. Um, okay, so basically I am at this, let's see, look how pretty that is. I am at a lake in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And last night I boondocked, well, let me, let me go in order here. Um, first of all, let's see who's in the house. Hey, Morgan and Thomas. Actually, let me do this. Hey, Kenneth and Grant and Robbie, our two moderators showed up. I know it was super last minute and I just let them know, hey guys, I'm gonna go live. So thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome. Um, hey, JJ and HDJ and Thomas and Dylan and Scott and Kenny. I think I already said Kenny. Uh, <laughs> Roderick, let's grab some lunch. Uh, hey, a big double O. Uh, P. Sean in the house, fire. Chow King, 33. And where's my chicken? Awesome. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, yo, Mo Bang for your bucks in the house with the $5. Ooh, ooh. Um... I'm gonna give you a uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. that's my little sound effect for you uh, thank you so much I appreciate that very much okay so uh, when did I go live on Friday I just went live a couple days ago and I did make it to Coeur d'Alene Idaho which is so beautiful like so gorgeous um, this like um, phone view isn't even doing it justice i mean it's just like so pretty i can't even make you guys be able to see you know the way i'm seeing it um and hopefully my well, let me put this fan because you know how it goes with my phone it overheats sometimes let me point my fan down towards the phone um uh so basically Oh, it looks kind of foggy. Let's see. Sorry. <laughs> it does look kind of foggy. I think it's just the... I think it's just the way that the camera's showing. It's kind of hot today. Um, I think it was in the 70s. But um, just being in the van, it's just been a little bit more hot. So I have my overhead fan on and I have my little 8-inch fan. Um, you know, pointing down here. Um, anyway, so I did make it to uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and Saturdays I usually try to take off. I try not to do anything extensive. I try not to edit um, anything. You know, I try to just relax. So yesterday I had a plan to just kind of stay in the van, find like a little parking lot to just chill out in. Um, but before I did that, I went into um, this coffee shop just to get like a coffee but I ended up getting uh, like this ice latte situation which was delicious it was like a caramel flavor um, and when I was getting my coffee in the morning the girl behind the counter was super nice shout out to Ashley 
at the Hammer Coffee, uh, she was just like full of knowledge. And she was like, yeah, there's like a triathlon or an Ironman going on downtown today. Uh, and then she said, and then in Spokane, is it Spokane or Spokane? Washington, they're having the three on three tournament. And I was like, three on three, that sounds like basketball. And she's like, yeah, it's like where all these teams come from like everywhere. And it's just like so many just people from around everywhere. Like, I don't even know, like thousands and thousands and thousands of people come uh, to to Washington to do this tournament. And then they like compete against each other and you know, it goes down into brackets. So it's Saturday and Sunday. And so I was like, yo, I know it's my day off, but I mean, oh, and P.S. I didn't even know, but Spokane, Spokane, it's only like 30 or 40 minutes from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I, I had no idea. And so I was like, shoo, that's like nothing at all. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do a little resting and then I'll go over there like later in the day um, just to see what's going on because I mean, like who doesn't want a basketball player for a boyfriend? I mean, not a professional. I wouldn't want a professional, I wouldn't want to date a professional athlete because that's too much pressure and you know all the girls will be throwing themselves on them. So I was like, still, an, like an athletic guy who's tall? I was like, yeah, sounds like a great idea. So, <laughs> so I just rested a little bit and then I kind of like tried to get cute and actually like my hair is like a full mess today so don't don't judge me on that uh, so I went over there I didn't know anything about anything about this this event so I just quickly looked it up and what they said is like all the downtown was like completely shut down um, so the best way to get down there and to get parking and stuff is to why is this doing this like this like it does look foggy, even on my end, it looks dim. But now I think it's too late to like try to adjust some things. Let's see. I wonder if I could do something. They have these filters. Oh, I don't need a filter because it's so beautiful without it, but I'm trying to like get this weird foggy look off but it doesn't seem to be working. I guess this one's better. Oh well, okay. Oh, the sun is reflecting off my door. Let's see. Oh, is that better? Then I can't see you guys. <laughs> That's the problem is like you get most of the view or you get, let's see, how do I stop? This is like on my cabinet, so I'm trying to organize here. I never sit on the ground, but I wanted you guys to see the beautifulness. Can you guys see better now? I wonder if, I, oh, you know what? Is it this door right here? I'm not good at basketball. Is that better? That probably just, whatever. Anyways. Okay. Okay, anyways, so I drove over to um, Spokane, I guess. <laughs> and basically their website wasn't set up very well. It was like, they didn't have enough information about people that are coming to visit all the information was mostly about people playing in this tournament so it was like i get it because it's like that's the whole point of this thing but there's also like vendors there like big um like food trucks and cotton candies and like all the things and um just like all the restaurants are doing like fun things and it was just like a whole fun situation but they didn't have like all the stuff listed on the website they even have their own app but again 
there wasn't very much information so I really didn't know like what I was getting myself into I just thought I would drive 30 minutes and see what was happening but one thing that I did notice is that they were they had listed that you could go to the park and ride uh, there was like four different park and rides where you can park your vehicle and then jump on the city bus for two dollars for the whole day so it was just two dollars there and back and if you wanted to keep riding the bus back and forth if you felt like doing that you could so I just picked a park and ride because I didn't know it just had like a name I didn't know where they were compared to the downtown area so I just picked one now apparently I picked the furthest one away which was a safe area um, so I parked and then I jumped on the bus and it took like 30 minutes to get there and I was like it took 30 minutes for me to drive even to Spokane like so then it took me another 30 minutes to even get downtown from there so that was kind of a bummer but it was not that big of a deal now one of the things I want to tell you is that you know I try to look cute because you know I live in a van so sometimes I just kind of just throw on a tank top and whatever but you know some of my things are cuter than other things and one of the things that I personally think is cute is my Adidas shoes and I don't wear them all the time because they're not the most comfortable but I was like Adidas kind of goes with basketball so I feel like I need to wear these and like I wore some it was hot it was a hot day um so I wore my shorts a cute tank top you know wear my like adidas hat and my adidas shoes uh, thank you grant for posting those links i appreciate that and you know the bus dropped me off and when i got to, to the, like to get off I, I asked him i was like is this the closest spot to the downtown festivities he says yeah it's either this one or the next one but either one it's, you're gonna have to walk because all the streets are blocked so i was like okay i'll just get off here because i don't mind walking so I wasn't it wasn't that far I had to go through the convention center area um, it was really beautiful um, like there was like near the convention center there was like a lake and just beautiful sceneries and just like all the things so I just walked around until I found all the stuff and it was great but it was mostly like teenagers playing now there was a couple three-on-three -three situations with adults but mostly, I guess it's like school-aged people, you know, kids coming from all like these, all these cities and districts and everywhere. So I was like, oh man, like I thought I was going to get to see like a bunch of dudes, you know, hooping it up. And like, I, I envisioned in my mind, like the, um, the dunk contest situation where it was just like all this like grand festivities. And it was cool, like don't get me wrong, it, it was set up nicely, like they had like, I mean almost every street was blocked off and there was like hoop after hoop after hoop after hoop and just like down the road, just so many people playing three on three basketball. And it was cool to watch and there was so many people in the streets. Um, but it was a hot day and so after a while, you know, when the reason The reason people get blisters, I'm going to give you a little tip if you didn't know, is because if your feet get sweat, wet with sweat or any kind of wet, if you're in the rain or whatever, it's the friction of that that causes you to get blisters. Now, like I said, my Adidas are cute, but they're not like the most comfortable. And so it was a hot day. My feet were sweating, even though I was wearing socks and, you know, there's some friction going on. So. I walked around for a while and then you know it's just a lot of people so I was like okay I've, I've, I've seen things I've been here for like a little over an hour and I was good I didn't really care that much um, so before I had gotten off the bus I there's like a little kid down here staring at, up at me um, before I got off the bus, the bus driver said, now, when you're ready to get back on the bus, because you're going to have to take the same bus, um, you need to go to this certain stop, and you're going to have to find this stop, and he gave me the name of the streets and everything, so I was like, okay. Uh, so, like, right before I decided to leave, I realized that my feet were hurting, <laughs> and I was like, mistakes were made. This is what happens when you try to be cute and not be comfortable, and so... 
I was like, this was a bad idea. I should have like either wore comfortable shoes from the beginning or brought a little backpack and had my, these, you know, regular shoes in that backpack because I had to still find the bus stop. And so I already knew I was in trouble. I could start feeling that my feet were kind of bad. So it took me a, like another 20 minutes <laughs> to walk to the bus stop. And by the time I got there, I was, you know, you could feel like when you have blisters and I was like, it's going to be bad news. I could just already feel it. So I finally got on the bus. Um, my pass worked, so that was cool. I only had to pay $2. Uh, Adriana is still with me, but she didn't want to go. Um, she wanted to just relax. Uh, so she didn't go with me to this thing. So I got on the bus and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to drive this thing back another 30 minutes. And so when I was on the bus, I got a phone call from my son, Marcus, which a lot of you know from some of the other videos. And I was just talking to him. And in my mind, when I got on the bus, like in the beginning of the day, I knew I was near a Walgreens and the Walgreens had like a, a brick exterior. So I was just talking to him, I wasn't paying attention. And so I felt like we were getting closer. And so I saw a building that had a brick exterior and I was like, oh, that's that's it. So somebody had pulled the little thing to get off and I was like, I'll just get off here uh, when he gets off. And so I jumped off the bus and realized the same my, the same my stop, I, I got off too soon. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm not like versed in taking the bus you know, so I was like, okay, so that was a bad idea. So I just told my son, I was like, I just got off the bus too soon. And now I'm in this random area I don't know anything about. Uh, so I just sat talking to him and I just stayed at the bus stop because I just had to wait for the next bus. Um, the bus came, um, you know, probably in like 10 or 15 minutes and then jumped on the bus again and then rode it till I finally got to the park and ride. So that actually worked out really well because it was only $2. And the only money I spent was that $2 and the $1 to buy a, a bottle of water um, at the event. Um, but I didn't find my husband, like I said, on the thing. I was hoping that maybe like God was pointing me towards this three on three tournament. Like maybe I was gonna bump into somebody that was like, you know, a good Christianly guy that likes basketball. But I feel ripped off because I didn't find a husband. So that's a bummer. And I even looked cute and I got blisters because of it. So now I was gonna take a nice long walk today because t Sundays I try to do like a planning day, like planning the videos for the week and the live streams and stuff. Um, but I can't barely walk. So this morning when I woke up, I walked over to Adriana's car and she's like, why are you limping? And I was like, cause I got blisters. <laughs> at the event and she's like oh no um so one thing that was cool is like i was thinking like if i was gonna go back to the event um today i was gonna stay in spokane um but i didn't like love it love it it wasn't like bad it just it was just fine um but i kind of wanted to get back to Coeur d'Alene because i'd only been here for one day and i there's like this is beautiful here so adriana had dropped up to like where she was up in the mountains and I don't really love to go like super far out because uh, I usually need a connection for working and editing and stuff. But because it was my day off, I was like, you know, I think that'd be cool to just go up into the mountains, into the trees and just kick back and not worry about it. So I had just, you know, drove back from Spokane, started driving up this hill and it's like way up in the mountains, you know, it's just way up in the mountains. Um, and I was like, where is this place? And there was a few like turnouts that you could park, uh, but this is definitely like national forest uh, area. So for those of you that, that know or don't know, national forest is an area where you can park and boondock for free. There's, you don't have to pay for camping and stuff. Make sure my sweatshirt is still there. Um, so I drove all the way up there and then um, I met up with Adriana and we went up to this kind of like big open area and it was really beautiful and really nice except for it was a weekend and there was a bunch of people with motorcycles and ATVs just going around and they were riding those things till like later into the night um, and that's fine you know because it's like it's a fun thing for people to do but 
it did kind of hinder like sleeping and stuff. Uh, and then another like three cars came up and they built this gigantic bonfire, bonfire with all these pallets of wood. Uh, and they were going well into the night, like, like I don't even know, it was super late. Um, so I didn't get like the best sleep at that location, but it was a beautiful location to wake up. Let me read some of these comments because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, it is beautiful, Jennifer, up here, yes. Hey Paul, how are you? Haven't been keeping up with all your travels, but hope you're doing. Thank you, I am doing well. Hey David, shock, and <laughs> Rebecca, thanks. Um, Robbie says, keep your eyes open. If a fish jumps out of the water, I will donate. <laughs> a, a good looking woman like you should have no problem finding my husband. Well, you, I don't know, I don't have, I don't have that. Um, it's going to be 92 where you're at tomorrow, so it's hot tiger. I mean, that sounds about right. Spokane. Even this Canadian knows that. Yes, 91 tomorrow in Seattle as well. Athletic horizontally. Yes. Um, can be smudges on the lens. I mean, maybe. Ah! What is that? There's your fish, Robbie. There's your fish. You see it jumping? Dip it down into the water. Oh, I, you didn't hear that. Dip it down into the water. There's a chew. Yeah. Oh, there, see, it jumped. It jumped. <laughs> These are the perks of traveling with somebody. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I gotta scroll back. Uh, let's see. That's funny. Um, Robbie says, I play basketball. I play once, once a year. Once, one year when I was little, the only time I got the ball, I panicked and threw it all in the wrong goal. The sun is, okay, let's see. The sun is reflecting, sun, 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 throw a towel, it's okay, fine, we know what you look like, yes. Uh, put a towel, I probably should have put a different color towel than the door. Um, you could find a husband if you got realistic, talked about, professional about her. Uh, no, I'm saying the opposite. I would not want to date a professional basketball player. So I feel like I'm very realistic. Uh, it is what it is, feel your pain, yes. Hey, Thomas Fedrin. Um, hey, Shaq Diesel. Um, thank you, Thomas, for saying that. Uh, hey, Soldan, how are you? Hey, Brenda. Hey, Ronald. Uh, let's see. Hey, Gina's in the house. How are you? Hey, Terry. Columbus, Ohio. Awesome. Hey, what a do, DG. Danette is in the house. How are you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, the trees may have mountain men. I mean, that's true, too. Hey, TJ. Thank you, Thomas. 59 in Denver, Ragdoll. That sounds delightful. Hey, Rebecca C. Fifty-nine in Boise. Ugh. He should pay just for the creativity. I mean, I think so too. Kind of cool today in Texas for June, only ninety-five. That is pretty much for that. Uh, Eighty-one in Ohio. Awesome. Um, also, I would like to inform you that I got another injury because this is what happens when I try to. Oh, here come. See that boat? They've been like boats, like water skiers and like canoers and stuff like that. It's really, it's very cool. Like really cool here I'm just like on like a cutout maybe I'll step out and show you guys in a second um, I would like to inform you that I got an injury today because I have a bag of ice and I it, it kind of stuck together so I pulled out my giant knife and I was holding the bag I guess I was must have been holding the bag like this and I was like stabbing the ice like this and I went down like this and because I didn't think about it because I don't think straight because I didn't have my coffee yet. I had the blade cutting like this towards this way and I sliced my knuckle and it hurt real bad. 
because this is a lesson to remind me and you don't point like a knife blade towards your body in any capacity so now I have a gash in my knuckle so that was the beginning of my day today um, and like I said it was a really beautiful morning to wake up to but people were coming to that area like really first thing in the morning um, with their ATVs and motorcycles and they were ready to go on this beautiful Sunday and so I just read my Bible and then I was like I'm gonna drive back down the hill and find a spot and this is the spot I found um, just like a little cutout on the side of the road and it's just been beautiful I've been sitting here all day just doing some planning and stuff like that and so I didn't really do anything today like in terms of my hair I barely just brushed my teeth to be honest and that's gross to some of you but I don't know I just kick it back today um, I also want to tell you that one thing that does help my hair like especially if I do braids if, for those of you that do braids this is like this is what happens when you don't wear what I'm about to show you so it gets like this like you know frazzle look but I went to the Walmart and this was like a couple dollars it's just like a little bonnet and so I know people know how to wear bonnets but if you wear braids what I'm saying to you is if you put your hair in here and like I usually sleep with this thing and so when your hair rubs on the pillow it stays here so it doesn't like get the like frazzle and so I didn't use this last night and that's why my hair is just like all like jacked up <laughs> so it's okay because I'm at that I'm at the day where I'm about to take these out so tomorrow I'll have that like puffy hair that you guys have seen a lot of times um, and so today is just like one of those days that I really don't care that much but I didn't even put earrings on or makeup or anything so I just wanted to do this live stream because I felt that this is such a beautiful location I wanted to share it with you guys and just share like what I did for the last couple days um, and let's see eighty one let's see uh, <laughs> messy hair don't care no one has pointed at me and said lady your hair is messy yeah I think I'm good yeah I mean that's true that's true um, Adriana's in the house. Someone needs to supervise you with. I mean, Ragdoll. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm not even offended by that comment at all. I, I think I did not learn how to use sharp instruments or something in my life because every time I pull out one of those knives to do anything cooking-wise, I don't think about it. I don't think things through. For some reason, I just feel like I don't know. Like knife edges are like not gonna harm me in some way I don't really, I don't think about it I need to be careful because I could like nick a um, like an artery that would be bad okay this guy just like this right here like start, oh you can't see to start fishing ah! I'm gonna get out in a second anyway Gina says, don't point a knife blade towards your body. <laughs> I learned this the hard way and then I, I keep forgetting. Uh, hey, Barbara from little old Indiana. Okay, okay, okay. But Robbie says, I'm back. Was that a fish wrapped in foil? It was just foil, I think. There go, did you guys see another fish? <laughs> Gina says, a silver fish. Morgan says, I'm reading today what verse or thought. Oh, in your reading today, what verse or thought stuck out? So today um, I read um, Judges 9, and it's just talking about um, how Abimelech uh, kind of like tricked his family into making him king, and how even though some people didn't want him to be king, 
most of the people just went with like majority rule and allowed him to be king and now three years later they're like oh this guy's a shyster and they're trying to trick him to like get him out of being a king long story short that like i think everybody ends up dying but um that's what stuck out to me today is like don't always go with the majority rule just because it's convenient like stand up for your um, convictions um let's see thank you barbara thank you tj oh robbie coming through with the two dollars my plan was foiled <laughs> Donation for that fish that jumped. Uh, let me give you a. This one's apropos for this. He shoots. He scores. Hooray! That's your sound for today. Is it Luke from Gatineau, Quebec? Me and my wife love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Hey, Miles to go from Northern Maine. Uh, Lance D. No story ends well with so I grabbed my big knife <laughs> I mean that's true uh, Barbara I don't fish but I was just telling Adriana that I am thinking about giving it a try especially since I'm gonna be around this area for a while uh, in areas that have these big beautiful lakes and there's like lots of people fishing so I like probably fish with my dad when I was a kid but I've never done it so I think it'll be an interesting thing and I'll probably make a video of that if I do because it's probably like the same as me using a knife, like trying to fish is maybe not gonna go so well. Um, but I think it'd be cool to do like a catch and cook because I don't know how to catch and I don't really know how to cook. So it's something that I should maybe try in my life. I don't know, it could be fun. So sad that the shortest Bible verse describes the world today, Jesus wept. I mean, that's 100% truthfuls right there. are just very tiny knives though <laughs> that's true uh oh you stab yourself a lot robbie um let me um okay so I'm trying to stand up is a problem because i'm my bones are older so let's see red dot i bought a new snack today i got reese's reese's potato chip big cup <gasps> it's milk chocolate and peanut butter stuffed with potato <gasps> i gotta have that i have to try that never heard of it natural beauty you have I'm a nomad in Virginia I moved around the state I might go to Georgia if you ever uh, in Virginia hollow you're joining but thank you so much thank you for being here um, okay first of all let me unplug this because my I w decided to go live when my phone was on 37% which probably wasn't the greatest choice but I just did like an impromptu thing okay how am I gonna unattach this whoa Here's the challenge of me trying to get up with one arm. Ooh. Ready, set, go. <laughs> also, you guys are seeing the real deal of my life on a Sunday. It's like so messy in here. Uh, I saw my cereal bowl, my stuff, my toothbrushes out, my protein shake, my coffee. And this is how I've had my setup so that I could do the live. Let me pull this thing down before it flies off. I put my flip flops on, even though my feet hurt. Uh, I don't know. I always grab my keys, no matter what, just in case anything happens. I have my keys. Oh, I don't have a pocket. Okay. Um. So let me show you like where I am in the world. Okay, so there's Adriana in front of me. This was completely shaded this morning, so it was a really nice spot. 
um, here's the road that takes you up to the mountain, like up this giant thing. And then this takes you back into Coeur d'Alene. So it's just like this little road cut out. And then it's just so pretty. houses up there. And in the morning you could hear this water lapping up onto the shore and it's just so pretty. up on this doorway now maybe that didn't help I think it's just the glare you know yeah I think it's just gonna be the glare of the difference set this back up. Whoa. Robbie Dominator 4 is the process of being fixed. He'll be chasing the great southwest monsoons next. Who knows, maybe the way there. Um, I fished but never ate my own catch. Just save the knife for really bad dates. Oh. Um, uh, yes, I do have a lazy day on Sunday. I, I do my planning on Sundays. Um, so I kind of have the idea of what videos I'm going to be filming and editing this week um, but I've had like a kind of loosely relaxing day as well just not really doing like the most today um, and just sitting here has just been so so peaceful so yes I do have a basic Sunday That Reese's Potato Cup is really good, but it's deadly addictive, I bet. That sounds so good. Beautiful background, how bad are the mosquitoes? You know what, so far I, I have had seen some mosquitoes, but I don't think I've had any bites. I did have some bees flying into the van, but I just stayed still and I didn't get bit. Uh, but there have been a lot of flies and bees and stuff flying into the van in and out. One of the fly bees went into this hole but it came out because I was nervous that I would have a passenger in my van. Uh, Gina, I'm in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Now that I'm saying that, my foot feels itchy, so maybe I got bit by a mosquito on my foot. Um, snacks, you be everywhere. That's real good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I have a hard time spelling Coeur d'Alene as well. I keep, every time I'm looking it up to like look at where to go, I don't know how to spell it, but I'm learning. 
Yes, it is very beautiful and calm. I don't have any bread. I have crackers and chips, but I don't have any bread. If you catch and cook, cook well done. Tapeworms are such a mellow killer. Just saying, oh yeah, I definitely will do like a well done situation. Oh, Morgan used keys too. Twice I locked my keys in my trunk in front of the bank, front door. Oh no, I had to let the manager know that it's my truck and I'm breaking the window, no. Uh, Roderick, the only bears I saw was when I was back in Wyoming in front of like near the Yellowstone entrance. Um, let's see, well, then park up by a wood yard. Oh, awesome. Yep, there must be a lonely mountain men in the woods. I mean, probably. Uh, thank you, Grant, for posting those links. Uh, looks as hot as it is here. It is pretty hot today. Like, it's kind of a blazer. Oh, 1 a.m. in the UK and 55 Fahrenheit. Oh, dang, 55, sound, 55 sounds really good. Forget the fish jumping out of the water. Let's all just jump in. Oh, that sounds so good. Uh, I thought about actually like, I don't know if you're allowed to just jump in. I mean, I would think you could, but I don't know. It does look refreshing. Uh, I didn't lose my husband. I just didn't find a new one. <laughs> Forget bees. I'm allergic. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not allergic, but I have been bit by a wasp and a bee and it's not a good feeling. Uh, Coor is heart in French. Ooh. Heart of the hawk. 30 degrees Celsius in Estonia. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you something else, and now I forgot. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm looking around to see if it jogged my memory. I don't know. Looks like a perfect time to kayak or a stand up paddleboard. I mean, definitely miles to go. This is, I've seen many like um, kayaks. I, I think I called them canoes earlier. <laughs> I've definitely seen a lot of kayaks going by today. Uh, people on just regular boats, ski boats. Uh, it's, but it's not too many. Like it's, I have a feeling that maybe for 4th of July, it's probably gonna get really packed over here. Uh, but so far it hasn't been too bad. What's your ideal man? <laughs> I'm not 32, I'm 48, but my ideal man is someone who loves God the most first over anything and somebody who's funny and uh, has a good like moral values and is handsome. I mean, I definitely want someone that's handsome. I'm not like too hung up on the height, to be honest. Like, of course I would love to have a taller partner, uh, but it's not the most important thing. Like a lot of girls were like, so like just stuck on height. I don't think that's like the best thing to focus on because you just, you know, it's not the best thing to focus on. What that sounds so good. Reese is in my, is my addiction. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> oh, Luke coming through with the $5 copy on us. Love your wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Um, hallelujah. 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 Ooh, I do love a good bearded fellow, Gina. That is definitely attractive to me. I like a guy with a nice beard and a ball cap. Not that he has to wear a ball cap every second of the day because I'd be weird if he wore a ball cap to bed. But I do like a good beard and a ball cap. That looks like a good look. Um, but yeah. Men and women in a small space can be a real nightmare. I mean, that can be very true. I think you do have to have personal space as well. I am 5'7". So how to be here with friends? Oh, glad, to, glad you're here. Don't know hype, yes. Um, everybody, let's see, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Um, I think I went live at like four something, so let's see what is everybody gonna have for dinner or supper 
<laughs> Grant just described the Unibomber. I just described the Unibomber. I definitely don't want to like marry a serial killer. I don't want all that press in my life. And I also don't want to like be with somebody that thinks it's fun to kill people because killing is against my values. So probably not somebody I'd want to go out with. Um, all right, so let's read what everyone's going to have for dinner. I, I'll tell you in a second. Um, okay, so Grant's coming through. Oh, barbecue pork chops. I haven't had meat in like almost two months. Almost two months. Also, if they treat animals well. Oh, that's true. If somebody treats animals badly, that's a character issue. I'm not even like a big, huge pet person, but if somebody treats animals badly, that says a lot about them. And also somebody that treats like wait staff and help staff like they're lower, also totally no, no thank you. Perfect solution, man with his own van and woman another and they've traveled together. I mean, that sounds like a great like position to be in. Um, I would think that would be a great compromise because then you can have your own space, but travel together. Not even if the person likes Cheerios and Rice Krispies. I mean, I, I don't want, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about the serial killer, but I mean, only that kind of serial killer with like eating cereal, but not to murder people because I don't think that's a good idea. Miles says, I ate pizza and regretfully how full I now feel. <sighs> I do want pizza. Okay, so on Friday, um, after the live stream, if you guys were on here, you know that Adriana said she was going to take me out to dinner and she only gave me two choices. She said, we're either going to get tacos or Indian. So I guess Mexican or Indian. And I didn't want to deal with any spiciness. So I decided that I would go with Mexican food because that's always a good choice. So at first we went over to uh, Qdoba, which is like a chain Mexican restaurant. And we got there and we go to open the door and there's a sign that says we're the the um, dining area is closed. This isn't the first time that I've been to places around the US where they're just literally shutting down. They just don't have enough staff. They just don't have enough help and they just are shutting down. So they said, you have to order on the app. We didn't feel like doing that because we wanted to kind of go and sit down and just chat and just hang out. So we decided to like go to a Mexican restaurant and Adriana found one, I forgot what it's called, uh, but it was really a cute, like pretty big Mexican restaurant, but it was, like they had like all the walls painted and it was so good. The food was delicious. I just got a bean and cheese burrito and then we had a little side of guacamole. So I just put some on there. I mean, I could eat bean and cheese burritos probably every single day of my life because I just love bean and cheese burritos. Uh, so that's all I got. I didn't get too festive with it, but she got, I think she got the fajitas and they looked really, really good. Uh, so now I kind of want a bean burrito, but I also now want pizza because that sounds good, but now I've eaten out two times, so I don't think I should eat out again. I'm just gonna like eat something in the van. It's not as fun. Um, Kenneth, we don't care what you tell us. We're just so happy you're sharing your son. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Roderick, I'm 5'11", love ball caps, and I've had a beer since fifth grade. I'm having smoked salmon. I love God, not a serial killer. Hey, you're on the right path there, my friend. You're on the right path. I do like salmon as well. Um, Fireman Larry, steak and tiny red potatoes. Plus, this, oh, you guys see the row, 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 row. Uh, steak and tiny red potatoes plus a spinach salad. That sounds really good. Barbara says, if they were right for you, it could work, eh? Serial killer, yes. I know the girls like bad boys, but the Unabomber is a little too in the zone. That's true. That's too bad. That's you know, you got to kind of go into the middle, you know, of the badness scale. Serial killer. Um, Qdoba. Qdoba is good. Uh, Thomas says, stay in North Idaho because Southern Idaho, Boise area, all next week will be possible triple digits. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stay in this kind of vicinity probably for a few weeks. I feel like I've gotten here and now I feel like I just want to chill and just make videos and just relax and this seems like a really good place to do that and it's a pretty like especially up in the mountains it was a lot cooler so definitely a good place to to hover qdoba good bowls and wraps that's true 
also they have a good nacho bowl. I don't know if you ever had that, but they, it's like the same as like a, a burrito bowl, but they lace it with chips first. And then they ask if you want the cheese on it or in a cup. And I'm like, just throw that thing on it. I'm about to eat that right now. Extra like queso, also regular cheese, guacamole, this like corn salsa that they have. Uh, I forget what else. Oh, beans. I like beans on there. And it's really fattening. Like it's probably like 2,000 calories, but probably not that much. But it's so good. Now I want nachos, but I'm not going to have that. Uh, but yes, Qdoba does have good bowls. I would, I would like getting married again would not be on your, uh, you are free and having a good, oh, are you saying I, you would think that I wouldn't be wanting to get married? I, I do want to get married. I'd love to be married. Um, obviously it didn't work out clearly, but I would love to have a partner that I'm committed to. Um, and I want to have a great time with somebody and enjoy, enjoy this life and scenery with somebody. Morgan, I'm with you on staff abuse is not their fault 99% of the time they just want to get home safe and sound too yes exactly roast beef with brown gravy mashed taters baby glazed carrots and cornbread oh I want cornbread I want cornbread with butter and honey that sounds delicious I guess I'm just hungry because all I've had today is grape nuts which I do like grape nuts. I don't know if some people don't like it, but I like grape nuts. And then I had just had a protein shake, ah, uh, which I just, I bought some protein powder, like, I don't know, at least a month ago and I've never used it because I keep forgetting. Um, but I had a protein shake with a, like a small banana, frozen banana and some oat milk. It didn't really fill me up, but I guess it's good for my protein level. I don't know. My son encouraged me to get some protein powder. Um, but it was pretty tasty, but it didn't do anything for me. So now I'm just hungry. Dinner is a vegetarian burritos from Taco Bell. Oh, yum. Routine. Yeah, I'm over chew, but should you be so fortunate to find the one? There's nothing like it. That's true. Next time you go to Mid-Atlantic, Eastern Midwest, find a Condado Tacos Place. It's the best. Ooh. Okay, that sounds delicious. Uh, Shane says, will you ever come to the UK and try our food sometime? I would love to. I would love to, love to. I haven't been to the UK yet, so it's on my list. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, so uh, Cracker Barrel, they have one here, and I'm trying to stay away from it because I want their... Um, chicken and dumplings. Now, since there is a Cracker Barrel here and I'm gonna be here for a few weeks, I might have to, to partake in that, um, but it sounds so good. The rowboat reminded me of a Nickelodeon TV show when I was little, Oh, Hey, Crystal, how are you? Grant, don't even get me started with cornbread. <laughs> Do you still want cornbread, Grant, or are you over it? Look at this person just getting pulled. Watch, 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 watch. Just live in the life. Wait for it. Just in this little like round inner tube. Just like laying back like this. That's funny. That's the life right there. Ah. Ice is for healing injuries. I mean, that's true. I made it worse. <gasps> Stephanie, you like grape nuts? Yes. I don't know about Wheatina. It sounds familiar though. Grape nuts are the best. Hey, Amy, how are you? Carolina, uh, I was craving a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Yes. Uh, Barbara says, it's raining here. We need the, it bad. I saw a fire on the side of the highway a couple days ago. Uh, it was attended. Oh, that's good. Oh, Lance, I love me some grape nuts, but need to pour the milk three hours before eating it. Otherwise, it's like eating granite. Okay, so what I do, I do pour it a little earlier, and then I just use two packets of Splenda instead of sugar. I know that's terrible. I don't eat grape nuts a lot, but the Splenda just makes it taste like, I don't know, it just gives it like a nice little flavor. Uh, Steven Phoenix, hello, hope you're well. Got a question. Have you ever felt unsafe on the road and do you carry anything to defend yourself if God forbid something was happening? I, I felt unsafe a couple times. Um, I do have some weaponry in my van, but the downfall um, is in terms of like, having a like a, a gun you're not allowed to have that when you travel state lines so 
if I were to have a gun and get pulled over and they found the gun, then I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's like, I don't know what kind of misdemeanor or felony, but you definitely are not supposed to be having guns crossing state lines. It could be a bad situation. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a video soonish about staying safe on the road. Um, of course, you can never be 100% safe. It's just part of it. But uh, there are some things that you can do to just like kind of, you know, give yourself a little bit of a, a help. Uh, yes, chicken and dumplings, let me see, yes. Uh, Barbara says, well, I'm feeling blessed to have such a nice meal. Yes, it sounds delicious. TJ, if you go through Portland, Oregon area, stop at Tad's Chicken and Dumplings in Trout Troutdale. A place that's like actually meant for chicken and dumplings. Now that sounds really good. Amy says, dinner tonight for me is fettuccine Alfredo. I haven't had it in a while. Ooh, I did have fettuccine Alfredo when I stayed at that hotel in Nebraska a few months back couple months at least uh, and it was really good and I hadn't had it in like at least a year grape nuts are the only brand type cereal for me except for the cereal made from brand into pretty large circles of brand <laughs> I do like grape nuts and I like the uh, I like some of the brand cereals too but not all of them because some of them taste like horse feed which I don't know what horse feed tastes like but it looks like it tastes like that um, Argus, uh, my wife ended our 20 plus years marriage single-handedly. I was very surprised, but now I see she has very unstable mental state and I am worried a lot about our kids living with her. Yeah, that sounds like a, something that should definitely be worked out maybe in some therapy or some kind of negotiations because you definitely want to make sure the kids are taken care of. And I'm sorry to hear that happened. Divorce is one of the worst things, honestly. JJ, I made pumpkin rice. Look at you guys with all this fancy stuff. With jalapeno, smoked burger, and bacon <clears throat> with arugula and cheese. Do you remember grape nut pudding? Uh, I've never heard of grape nut pudding. <clears throat> but that sounds like a fancy burger. Roderick, I do intermittent fasting. No beat. Life more interesting when sharing with love. I'm 49 but feel 29 at least five days a week. Virginia Beach loves you snacks. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, macaroni salad with baked shrimp. Oh, I like a good macaroni salad. I also love it in yogurt. It's a crunchy treat. That's true too, Lance. Grape nuts can be a hit in a lot of things. Um, water alarm. Oh man, my water's far away. Hey, Reverend RV's in the house. Of course, Stephen. Um, Fireman Larry uh, Boldedly, you can absolutely cross state lines with them. Well, so if so, as far as I know, the laws are like you can cross state lines, but you're not allowed to stop in certain states. Like for example, Delaware, they I think it's Delaware. They said you're not even supposed to stop in the state if you have a weapon registered in a different state. So I could be wrong, but you can't just be like registering a firearm in California and then say going to Texas and being like, you know, open carry in Texas. I don't think it works like that. So you have to be careful with the laws in every state. And I could be wrong though, you know, I'm not the authority on this uh, topic, but from when I was re researching it because I was thinking about getting a gun, that's the information that I got is all the states have different rules. I was told to treat the janitor the same as the CEO titles mean nothing to me, but heart and soul speaks volumes. 100% true. 100% true. Nobody's different. We're all human beings. So everyone's the same. <sighs> Hot fudge cake with vanilla ice cream sounds bomb. I mean, really does. Carolina says, I got to go and eat food. Y'all have a good one. Have a good one, Carolina. Uh, cornbread and real butter is worth getting married for. I mean, I would probably agree with that statement I ate too much Cracklin oat bran once and my insides were on fire oh no <laughs> Splenda makes a lot of things taste better kool-aid oatmeal yeah I try to stay away from the Splendas and the like artificial stuff but with grape nuts you just need a little bit of sweetness you don't need like a bunch of like extra sugars but you do need a little something so that's why I like sprinkle two Splendas on there 97 in these Portland streets. Jennifer, that's hot. Um, pepper spray. Would, I do have pepper spray. I do have that. Um, and clearly I have a couple knives, but I've been, whoa. 
Oh, sorry, I killed this thing. I accidentally hit it and it died. It was like a, not a moth, but like, I don't know what. Um, yeah, but I've been using the knives on myself instead of uh, intruders. So that's probably not the best way to use them. But what I learned living together is very hard and difficult task and you never know what's gonna happen next. I mean, that is also true. Marriage is hard, but divorce is hard and like life is hard sometimes. Uh, I will send the recipe for the pudding. My sister makes it the best. That is so interesting. I never heard of that. Um, Grant, send us some and we'll let you know if it's really good, yes. Um, Yara Designs, did you ever start doing any kind of, I never did the watercoloring. Um, I wanted to, but then I just, got sidetracked and then I never have time to just sit and just chill. Um, so I never did end up doing any watercolors, unfortunately. I don't know if grape nuts are in the UK. It's, they're, they're not, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's like eating rocks, to be honest. It's a cereal. They're like these little tiny pebbles. They're very crunchy and I don't know how else to describe it. They're just like, when you crunch on them, it's like eating sand, like big rocks. But it has a weird flavor, like tree flavor. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making strawberry shortcake tonight. Oh, strawberry shortcake. Mm, mm, mm. Cleaner air up there, Allison, better for you. Definitely. Barbara says, I want a van. I have the sweetest cat and I'm concerned about uh, till something, traveling with, uh, with him have have met anyone with the cat i haven't personally met anybody that's traveling with a cat but there's plenty of people on youtube that has a cat um there's several people that travel with cats so i don't i mean i think it's the same as traveling with a dog maybe but i don't know uh did a fish jump in the van rob you pony up yeah it wasn't a fish it was like one of those like flying bugs y'all making me hungry talk about veggie menu is gods and snacks you be safe out there. DM me when you can. Peace and love. Uh, have a great one, Roderick. Thank you. And enjoy your Taco Bell. I probably shouldn't say this, but easy off oven spray is more effective than pepper spray. And it has no intent as a weapon. Ooh, interesting. I never thought about easy off. And that's probably cheap. Haven't had grapeness in a long time. Donnie, try it out. No more marriage for me. Want to be the Kurt Russell <laughs> to Goldie Hawn type of relationship. Hey, everyone has their own, you know, way that makes them feel best in relationships. Personally, for me, I do want to be married, but I know some people don't want that situation. Um, when you're ready to start doing watercolor, I'm going to send you what you need to get started. I had to shut down my studio and I have so many supplies and I want to share them. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to get started on that, but I appreciate that. And I'm sorry you had to shut down your studio. Hey, Butterfly Tracks, how are you? Total has 100% of daily vitamins, I think. Oh, yeah, true. Total is also another good cereal. Barbara, search YouTube for Van Life Cats. There are quite a few channels. I love cats. Yes, that's a good tip, Gina. Um, all right, well, everyone seems like they're going to have a great dinner. You know what I'm going to have? Oh, it's up there. Um... I bought this like container that has like these little baby potatoes and you just microwave them for like six and a half minutes and it comes with a packet of like seasonings with like garlic and parsley and stuff. So I'm going to heat that up. I do have some Brussels sprouts in the fridge and I think what I'm going to do with that is shake them up with like the littlest teeny amount of olive oil, salt, garlic, and um, balsamic glaze and then air fry those and then mix the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts all together and it'll be like a veggie bowl, you know, like a salad without, I mean, actually I do have spinach and lettuce too. So I could actually make a salad. I do have some vegan ranch. So, I mean, I could make it like a vegan ranch salad, but the balsamic might make it a different flavor. So I don't know, but you know, that's, I think what's gonna be for dinner. The other option is lentil soup, but it's kind of hot. So I, I mean, either way it's, these are two hot meals. I could also leave this area and just go grab a salad like no because that's dumb because i do have spinach and lettuce and i do have vegan ranch so i can make my own salad see this is what happens is like i get like oh i should just go buy a salad with a different type of dressing and i have all the stuff that i need and also 
um, for example, I bought, I buy some like pre-made salads and then I sometimes only use half of the like little crispy things that come in the like bag, like, uh, let's see, like this is like uh, pecans and dried cranberries. These are just like crispies and chickpeas. These come in those like pre-made salads, but to reserve on some calories, I take like half of it. And so I can make my own salad. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just get crazy. Ah! Okay, could you not fall out while I'm putting you back? That's, um, oh yeah, Gina, you know about those potatoes. Okay, um, it was really sad and I had to make the decision because I couldn't maintain two properties and now I'm working at Lowe's of all places in the paint department. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. That is such a bummer. I know everyone's been having such hard times like with all the stuff going on. Um, maybe make it a warm potato salad. That sounds good. Maybe I will make that. That sounds really good, to be honest. Um, hey, dip cheese in the house. We're just about to end. <laughs> I am just hungry. I am hungry. Like, I am ready for dinner. So, after I'm done with this live stream, which is going to be in a couple minutes, I think I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat. For people not in North America, grape nuts are wheat and barley bran, I think. They have a nutty flavor, but are very crunchy. There we go. Miles to go summed it up perfectly and did way better than I was. My explanation made it sound really terrible. Um, Bourbon RV. If you want to be married, you should want to start looking now. It will take a while. Dr. Laura says it takes five years to get to know the real person they are. I mean, you know, only God knows if I'm ever going to get another partner get married or whatever so I leave it up to God I can't make it magically happen but yes I agree that you do need to spend some really good time getting to know somebody when you before you make that commitment um, hey Giovanni Gina said regarding getting married or a boyfriend I heard that when you are not looking is when they show up that's what I heard too Mark uh, oh Mordon I've been saying Morgan I'm sorry Mordon, I did salad tonight, Parmesan and Romano cheese, honey and ranch dressing. Ooh, that sounds good. TJ, nice. So nice to catch you live. Thank you so much. Grant says, I'm ready for barbecue pork chops. Sounds good. They are harder than granola. That's true. I'm off. Take care of one. Bye, Bye Stephen. Joy says, a salad someone else makes is always better than the one you make. That is 100% true, Joy. Deb G, I'm sad you're done. I was looking for something to eat myself. I want cooked veggies. Yeah, cooked veggies is always a hit. Man says, that's... It. I need grape nuts. Leaving for the store to pick some up. We'll listen in the car. Awesome. Um, Kane Kane, your hair is not a mess. I think you're, thank you so much. My hair is just like flyaways. Um, what is my favorite protein meal? Um, Minnie's Art Studio. Uh, I like to have things that have like beans, legumes, um, and like quinoa. I'm not saying it's my favorite thing taste wise, but I don't really like to eat meat. Um, not for any reason, except for I just don't, it's not like my favorite thing. Um, beans is, I love beans. Those are like something that's I enjoy. Uh, so that's what I usually do for protein. And I just got some protein powder just to like supplement with some protein. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Hey, Brian Rose, uh, got in late darn. Looks like a nice campsite. Take care and safe trails. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie, I better scoot. Nice to meet you all. Uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. So I am going to wrap it up because now we've had all these talks about food and now I'm actually getting really hungry. So I'm going to wrap it up, get up off this floor and start making my dinner. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Thank you guys for joining in. I'll be back live soon enough. I don't know when, maybe tomorrow or the next day. And I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on out here in the Idaho's. And I hope you guys have a great evening. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you guys for all your support and love. Pray for each other.